Hey guys, behind me is a BMW E36. In this video, I am gonna show you how to open your hood if your hood release cable is broken. And I actually figured out a way to open the hood without taking anything apart whatsoever, guys. So if you wanna open your hood, guys, and you don't wanna take half the car apart to do it, this is the video for you guys. So obviously, I figured this out, we're in the future right now. But what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna take you in the past, yesterday, I did have to take stuff apart to figure out a way how to do this. So this is gonna be perfect for you, So because you're gonna see what's what here. Okay, let me just quickly show you one and two things. Okay, so here are your two latches, right? These line up with those. Um, just so you know, so obviously I put everything back together now, everything works now. Um, so what I'm gonna do guys is, I'm going to take you into the past right now, um, when I started doing all this to open the hood, and trust me, you'll be able to open your hood with just a long screwdriver, and you basically won't have to take nothing apart. So let me take you into the past right now! I figured out how to open the hood without basically taking anything apart, guys. Um, okay, so underneath here, see, look, this is, you would take a really long screwdriver, right? Like I'm talking long, like at least, this part's gotta be at least like a foot or even longer, right? And then that goes in here, see? And when you twist it, watch. See? Okay, so now I'm just gonna quickly show you how this goes, right? So this, so that part, right, goes like that, just so you know where it is, right? So there it is. So see, it's like right, you can get to it, like, see what I mean, watch. You can just barely get to it, but you can. So I will show you how to get to it with a screwdriver. It's super duper easy. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna reattach this, and I'm gonna close the hood, and I'm gonna go underneath, and I'll show you guys how to open this hood if this cable is broken. Okay guys, I got it attached. Um, let me show you how you would do this. Okay, so you're gonna go underneath the car. Just pay attention here so you know where we're going, right? So you're gonna go right, like, see where that thing is? So kind of where this, this post here is, right? Go like this, so we're upside down. And see right in here, guys. See? We're underneath. Okay, so right in here. See there's like two slits? One, two slits. See those two slits there? You can see them, like I'll zoom out so you can see what's what here. So there's the radiator, right? Um, there would be like a cover here, so you, you'll have to take this cover off. And that's about it, right? So once you're in here, apologize for camera work. And I put everything back to see if this would work and nothing's in the way. So what you gotta do is you gotta get a utility knife and you need to cut from that to that, from that to that. So you have like a rectangular hole. So I'm gonna do that right now. So in the future I can get in there and I'm gonna open this for you guys. Okay guys, the hood is closed. Let's go underneath and open it. Okay, so when you're sliding the screwdriver in through that hole, which I will show you in a second, right? You don't wanna put it in this way. You wanna put it in this way, like if that's the car, like this. Right, so you're gonna put it in that hole, and you're also tilt, gonna tilt it like, see where the hole is? I made that hole. This is for you guys to see. So you're gonna want it at the front of the hole here, like going at an angle towards that back part to go in. So it's kinda, it's kinda gonna go in like this, right? And then if you're looking at it forwards, it's gonna be kinda like this. You get what I'm saying? And once you have it in there, all you have to do is twist it like this, see? And the hood should open. Okay, let's go underneath, I'll show you. Okay, just so everybody's familiarized, right? Right where, that, right where this post is here. Okay, let's do this. So we're gonna go underneath. See, here we are. There's that hole that we cut out. See it? I'm gonna try to zoom in just so you guys can see what's going on here. 
Um, okay, hang on. Okay, so I'm gonna try to zoom in on it. I apologize, it is hard to see, but see, there it is. You're trying to get it basically at the back, right in that unfocused corner there, see? Right there. Because it's at the back towards the radiator. Okay, I'm gonna put the screwdriver in. Let's try this out. Okay, screwdriver's going in. Okay, now I will show you from up top just so you can see. Okay, so there's the screwdriver, see? So that piece right there, it's not in the way. It basically is like right here. So this is all good and the light's even further on. So none of that affects it. So what you gotta do here is when you're getting this thing in, see, front of the car, I mean, you're not gonna have this kind of access that I have, right? So you're gonna try to get this thing. Here, let me switch lights here, hang on. Okay, so there's the front, I got better lights. So you're gonna get this thing. So you're trying to have it like on an angle like that. And then if you look from the side, see, you're doing kind of this as much as you can. I mean, every screwdriver is different. So then what you're trying to do is up there, see? You're trying to, like you have to put this plastic thing, like you have to almost push the screwdriver so it pushes it like towards that way. See, look. Okay, I'm gonna try to do it. See? See, it pushes it over. So you have to push this whole plastic thing over. And once you got it pushed over, it should be able just to, see? Once you got it up there, you just twist. Okay, I'm gonna set up the camera and give this a twist. Okay, so I'm moving over to this camera now. Um, I got it in, you guys just seen it. Let me go underneath. We're gonna twist it from underneath laying down clockwise. Okay, let's do it. There we go. Okay guys, now that I did that, um, we're gonna close it. We're gonna do it quickly one last time just to see I'm, I'm professional at this now. There it is, let's try it out. Okay guys, so as you can see, it can be done. Um, there is one more thing I have to show you. Like I just wanna show you how to get it like really, really good so you guys don't struggle with this. But before that happens, make sure you subscribe. In the description of this video, there'll be a link to the video, how to change the cable. So click on that. I also do a manual swap on this. There's a whole series of videos. Uh, anyways, like, subscribe. Okay, let me just show you one last thing here. Okay, so I'm gonna put this screwdriver in. So like, I'm basically professional at this now. Uh, but if you don't know, you could really, really struggle because it's really hard to move this plastic over enough to get in there, right? So what you gotta do is, when you put this thing in, right? When you put this screwdriver in here, let me zoom out, right? So you are bringing it all the way up, like so, right? And then, like, I am pushing on it really, really, really hard like this way, like I'm pushing on it, basically as far as it'll go with, like with all my might, see, look. So if I push, like I'm only using my hand from underneath, right? See how hard I'm pushing? So you have to push, 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 push. See, like this whole thing's even like going like that, right? Push, 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 and then, then you got it in. And once you got it in, you have to turn it clockwise. See, it's already like in there, right? And then once you turn it, see what I mean? Anyways, subscribe, like, thank you. Good night. And just one last thing. So my screwdriver is that thick, see? Anything thicker wouldn't fit in there. This is the length of it. I would say longer would be even better uh, if that helps. Okay.